In our previous tutorials, we delved into the essential looping constructs in Lua, the for loop and the while loop. We explored how the for loop is perfect for situations where we know exactly how many times we need to repeat a block of code. It's particularly useful for iterating over a range of values or elements in a table. We also covered the while loop, which is invaluable when we want to repeat a block of code as long as a certain condition remains true. This loop offers flexibility, allowing us to handle situations where the number of iterations is uncertain. Now in this tutorial, we're expanding our repertoire by introducing the repeat until loop. Unlike the while loop, the repeat until loop ensures that the loop body executes at least once before checking the loop condition. It's a powerful tool for scenarios where we want to guarantee the execution of a block of code before evaluating the loop condition. With this comprehensive understanding of looping constructs, we're well equipped to tackle a wide range of programming challenges in Lua. In this example, we initialize a counter variable with a value of 1. The repeat keyword starts the loop, and the loop body will execute at least once. Inside the loop body, we print the current value of the counter. After printing, we increment the counter by 1. The loop continues to execute until the condition counter 5 becomes true. Even if the condition is false initially, the loop executes at least once because the condition is checked at the end of the loop. We've explored three fundamental loop structures in Lua, the for loop, the while loop, and the repeat until loop. Each loop type serves a distinct purpose and offers unique advantages. The for loop is ideal when you know the exact number of iterations needed. It iterates over a specified range of values or a collection and executes the loop body for each iteration. It's concise and efficient for handling a predetermined number of loops. The while loop is used when you want to repeat a block of code as long as a specific condition remains true. It checks the condition before each iteration, making it suitable for scenarios where the number of iterations is not known in advance, but the condition for termination is clear. The repeat until loop ensures that the loop body executes at least once before checking the condition for termination. It's useful when you need to guarantee that a certain block of code runs at least once, regardless of the initial condition. It's particularly handy for situations where you want to execute a block of code until a specific condition becomes true. In summary, the for loop is best suited for a predetermined number of iterations, the while loop is used to repeat code until a condition becomes false, and the repeat until loop ensures that the loop body executes at least once before evaluating the termination condition. Understanding when to use each loop type empowers programmers to write more efficient and flexible code tailored to different scenarios and requirements.